Hello there, this is the Bible of soccer, not soccer, and in this video we're going to talk about the host nation, Russia and their pyramid, and about how beautiful this world looks like. Okay, I remind you that I'm here with no guidelines, no teleprompter, and I speak like this a little bit slow because English is not my first language, English is not my second language, and I don't want to lose my uh, train of thought. Okay, so we're here from Russia, from the Confederation Cup, and we're going to talk a little bit about the host nation. Sometimes I'm going to disappear from the camera just to make sure that we're going to focus on the bar. Okay, so what is the first problem that we can see in this team? What is the first problem? The first problem is here. Okay, it's very hard to play with a defense of three. It's really hard and if you remember any defenders from Russia which is who is a real star please pause this video right now and give me the names on the comments okay pause this video right now before I mention the names or not please don't google it and let me know if you know any defenders from Russia who is a superstar okay it is not so it's really hard for them with three players to cover all this defensive area it's really hard unless you have at least two superstars in the defense you're never gonna do this this is a big mistake okay i know that these two are gonna support the defense and they're gonna do a line of five but the problem is that these two are not really in the formation to be in the line of five and the second thing is that these two players are not really they don't have really defensive attributes they're more there for attacking okay and to exit uh, from behind okay so let's talk about the other problem because this team have a lot of problems do you remember uh, last world cup in brazil yes this t this player is more remember is more is in our mind more because of his mistakes than his succeed i don't know what his player has i don't know if the manager or i don't know what's going on with this player but he always is a starter okay this is akin fifth this is a goalkeeper for for russia team okay he's the one who lose the ball in the last World Cup and he keeps playing, he keeps playing, he keeps playing. I think the only reason why he keeps playing is because he has a very good kick, okay, on target, where he always gonna go with a very, very long pass on target to one of their teammates, okay, and he trusts uh, very much in his reflex, he always stays there okay but the other problem that this team has is the bad communication with the defenders and with the other two come back the same thing this goalkeeper never talks very bad communications with the defender so another problem for the line of three they don't talk to each other okay so let's go with these three players okay sometimes they change but basically they play they play with uh, Viktor Vasin, Kutepov and Kudryashov the only attribute that they have to be in the team is their aerial game they're very good hitting the ball with their heads okay basically that's the best thing that they can do okay but they have other attributes of course like uh, any defender but those are this is the only thing where they are the best okay then we have here Jerokin he also has very good aerial game okay he has good kicking from long distance to score and he's very cold and very smart very intelligent player okay that's the reason why he plays there but sometimes they change and when they rotate a little bit the coach do that i want to explain the reasons for that okay here we have uh, jirkov jirkov is the best uh, technical player of this team okay he's the best uh, 
he has the best technique from the rest and that's why he plays there and here we have a Glu uh, Glushakov. Glushakov is the best is the best player of this team he has dribbling he's basically an organizer he has very good anticipation and reading of the game he has very good aerial game okay and he has very good definition to score this player he can uh, the coach usually use it there but he can also place there he can place here here and even he has playing here depending on what the coach wants to do that day okay but basically they do that because this is considered the best player uh, from the russia team then we have uh, golovin golovin have very uh, good control of the ball basically that's why he play but for this coach the aerial game is very important but this player uh, has not uh, so good uh, aerial game but anyways he control of the ball and his passes are good enough for the coach to be on the team then we have uh, Samedov Samedov has very good uh, free kick okay very good free kick very good cross passes okay and he's not really a defensive player and neither this one uh, Shirkov as I mentioned then we have a here uh, Polov Polov has very good dribbling uh, especially to change direction to the center and he's basically a number nine okay he can place here is his main position but he, he also can place either here or here the problem with this player he still haven't a score for the national team okay he's been playing uh, several matches already and he still uh, haven't hasn't scored his first goal and then we have here Smolov Smolov basically has very good sense of anticipation he's always gonna look with the ball and he's very good at scoring as first touch okay so that's basically uh, all the players then uh, the system that they use basically for defending are like a pyramid that's why i'm calling this video like that where they do a 5-3-2 or 5-3-1-1 okay but how this team usually lose how you can score against this team the problem with this team is that when they when they get a surprise attack these three players have to cover all this area so when they go when they get attack between the centrals okay it's really hard for them to uh, get control of the situation okay because basically these ones these two has to come from behind but they're still trying to cover everything and because of bad communications with goalkeeper and uh, this is the best way uh, to beat this team okay so that's gonna be all for this video uh, if you like it please give me a thumbs up uh, share it and if you don't want to miss my next video you can subscribe but remember that this is mainly a youtube uh, channel in uh, spanish speaking okay so it says goodbye to you the bible of soccer not soccer thank you very much